Hello, in this tutorial we're going to talk about feedback and different methods of giving feedback within Canvas. Feedback helps your students uh, understand exactly what they have done correctly and you can point out areas for improvement in this feedback with the hopes that they will take that feedback and improve for other assignments that they're going to submit later on in the class. So we're going to go into grades here in your menu. And it doesn't matter uh, that I have a test student in this practice class. It doesn't matter which uh, assignment that uh, I choose. More details in SpeedGrader is where we're going to go. And I don't have anything here, but the assignment would be presented in this uh, left two thirds of the screen. Now, if you have a, a rubric to use for grading, you'll have the ability to pull up the rubric here. You can actually just click on the individual uh, criteria and scoring area here and then you do have the ability whoops, all the way over here in the right side you can add the score so it doesn't matter if, so if I choose this particular item here 3 to 2 it is always going to default to the largest number in the range, but let's say that's not what I want. I want 2.5. I can also go and add comments if that's what I want. <clears throat> so I have the ability to do that uh, the rest of the way, and then once I score the rest of the assignment in this rubric, again, I can identify those specific scores that I want. And then I will save. Okay, so now I've identified the score in the rubric. Uh, I have noticed lately that sometimes I have to look to see what the total score of the rubric is. In other words, you have the 2.5 right here, the 3, the 9, uh, the 10, another 10, so there you go, total 43.5. So I can enter the 43.5 here. Sometimes it seems like it goes into the box, other times it doesn't go into the box. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put it in anyway. So this is the area that I have the ability to give feedback. Now you also saw how I had comments in the individual criteria there because it had a rubric, but sometimes you may not have a rubric. Maybe it's discussion questions, maybe it's a uh, engagement, uh, assignment, who knows what it is, but maybe there is no rubric there. Or even if there is a rubric, you would like to add some additional comments here. Well, the nice thing about uh, Canvas is there's actually four different ways that you can place comments uh, in this grade area, in the speed grader for your students. One is you have the ability to just type some things here whatever it is that you want to say. If I do have a paper here, I will have a toolbar across the top that will allow me to insert comments in various colors, various types of word bubbles, and so forth. But some of the other tools that I think can be a little bit more powerful and more effective, so you do have the ability with the paper clip to hit a file attachment and upload something. So maybe there's a document, whether or not you've uh, inserted annotated comments on the student's work in this screen area here, or whether or not you wanted to attach maybe a help document or something if the student's struggling. Let's say maybe they did not uh, properly do some citations, uh, lay out their APA references correctly, and maybe you have a health page that you have gotten either from the APA help site from our uh, ARCs, or maybe you just have some document that you'd like to share, you can just hit file attachment and share it here. The other two that I think are also um, at least as powerful, if not more so, I've had situations where I've written comments to students over and over and over again. They keep doing the same thing wrong, and for whatever reason, the written comments just don't seem to do it. You have the ability to do audio comments, so you can use the microphone on your computer to record yourself speaking, providing the feedback in an audio format. <clears throat> Or what I like to do is to use uh, this media comment button here, which is actually a video. 
So I'm going to do that and show you how that works. So I'm going to click on that. Now, you are going to have to, the first time you use this tool, you are going to have to actually um, authorize or allow your microphone and your camera and that type of a thing. And you may have to uh, allow flash. As an example here, I'm on a Mac. You could be on a Windows machine, but um, I have to make sure that, a, that flash here is uh, set to the allow spot. A lot of times it's ask default, as you can see, the ask for permission. This will not work. If you see a little spinning circle up here over and over and over again, that's the issue, is you need to allow flash, refresh, and then you can go in and do this. So I'm okay. I can get rid of that. So at this particular point, I usually put something in the box. My feedback. And then I can go ahead. Uh, I have a light back here that's a little bit distracting. So it's sometimes you adjust what you you know what you want to have make sure that you're in the the site of the camera where you want to be maybe you do some tilting get my little baker proud banner going in the background there and then i go ahead and i hit this button when i'm ready to start recording and just so you know it starts right away there will be a little timer here i'll show you and basically there is no three two one or anything like that and notice that there is some little green bars that are showing up. If I shout, you'll see that uh, you want the green to show up. That means you're uh, speaking in a normal voice that other people can hear without making those dogs and cats whistle by getting too loud. And uh, then I can stop by just clicking anywhere. And you can listen to the playback and then hit save or you can cancel if you feel like you do not want uh, that particular video maybe it didn't work out right you listen to it and maybe you forgot to say something you can just hit cancel and go ahead and re-record it so you see i had those type comments here you don't have to have those this is the video that the student would then see that they can play back uh, if i decide that i don't want this or, or i've done it and decided i want to say something else and remake it i can just use the x and get out of it and then there's also, again, the audio piece. Again, click the record button to begin. <clears throat> Hello, this is Bob. And I want to give you feedback on this week's case. And then I would continue to talk about it, give them the feedback that I want. As you see, speech to text is kind of a nice feature built into Canvas. When I'm done, I just click on the box. And so we have this audio that actually had typed it out for me. So a little bit of a time saver. When I'm all done, I hit submit. And the student now has access to any of those comments. And here's the paper clip there. I would choose the file. And then I would pull whatever document it is that, uh, uh, that I wanted to share with uh, the students. <clears throat> you know, whatever, whatever it happens to be. And then that's now attached. And again, I hit submit, and it's good. There's the document. So I just wanted to show you that students really appreciate the feedback, whether you're in a face-to-face -face class or specifically in an on-ground class, being able to understand and to know exactly what the instructor is looking for, getting feedback, getting some type of comment so I can improve myself uh, going forward and my score is something students greatly appreciate. So hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks.